Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about how we can use the new window function to calculate like loop and do some recursive calculations to solve inventory problems in Power BI. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. All right. With the help of these numbers, let me first show you how to use the amazing brand new window function to do some of the recursive calculations like running total. And then I will show you how you can use this function to solve a real life problem of demand and supply. Let us do some recursive calculations. So I am using here concatenate x function. And in its first argument, we will use the new window function. In our previous video, we explained that if you mention absolute and relative in our position parameter type, which will refer the row at the absolute mentioned position, else it will refer the row from the current position based on the sort order of this relation table. It means it is going to concatenate all the numbers from the first row to the current row for each number in my below table. As that you can see, it is concatenating all its previous numbers including current. Such recursive concatenations can be useful in many cases. For example, you can also use unicar characters or other icons. You can relate this to a looping calculation in a programming language, which recursively returns such patterns. If you want to calculate a running total over these items, you can easily do that. You just need to replace the concatenate x function with a sum x function. As that you can see, it is now showing us the sum of all its previous rows. Let's now move to solve a real life problem of demand and supply. In this visual, I have weeks from 1 to 20, and I also have the demand for all these weeks. Supply I have only in first week, and then in week number 13. The requirement is to find, in stock or out of stock for each week dynamically. Such calculations are no longer difficult with our new window function. Let me first calculate the running total demand, and then I will show you how easily we can solve this problem. As said, we can use the same window function to calculate total demand from week 1 to each current week as a running total. Use of position parameter type as absolute or relative is very useful in such cases. Like in Excel, we use to lock one cell and then keep another cell reference dynamic for such calculations. I can use this measure to see the running total demand. And then I will copy this measure and will create another measure using similar logic to find in stock or out of stock. First of all, I, I will create two variables. One is for demand, and another is for supply using our same formula. I will just change the column reference for supply. In my return statement, I will validate if running total demand is greater than the total inventory, then it will return out of stock, else it will return in stock. I can now use this measure in my visual, and you can easily see the status. As that you can notice, when the running total demand crosses 10,000 at week number 10, the status shows out of stock because we had only 10,000 in hand inventory. After week 13, again it shows in stock as we had some more items in stock. If required, you can also add a column for decreasing inventory using similar approach. Use conditional formatting and icons to make your visuals beautiful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.